Welcome everyone, join us today as we delve into the inspiring story of Naomi Judd. From her humble beginnings and rise to stardom, to her battles with personal struggles, we celebrate the life and legacy of a woman who touched millions with her music and resilience. So let's dive in. Naomi Judd born Diana Ellen Judd on January 11, 1946 in Ashland, Kentucky, in the United States of America. Naomi was raised in Ashland, Kentucky, a town situated along the Ohio River and just below the Big Sandy River's mouth. Established in 1815, Ashland has long been an industrial hub for coal and timber production, forming a complex with two neighboring cities. Her father, Charles Glenn Judd, owned a gas station, while her mother, Pauline Ruth Oliver, was a riverboat cook and homemaker. Tragically, her brother Brian passed away from leukemia in 1965 at the age of 17. Naomi was a star student in high school with college ambitions. However, her life took a different turn after a brief relationship with football player Charles Jordan, which resulted in a pregnancy. When Jordan refused to accept responsibility for the child, Naomi felt pressured by the societal norms of 1964 and married another classmate, Michael Simonella. She gave birth to Christina Clare, later named Winona, in June of that year, which meant sacrificing her high school graduation. By 1968, Naomi and her young family had moved to Los Angeles, California, where she gave birth to her second daughter, Ashley, who would later become a film and stage actress. However, the marriage was troubled from the start, and the couple divorced by 1972. Undeterred, Naomi pursued her dreams as a single mother, balancing nursing school at California's College of Marin and raising her two daughters. She took on various jobs, including modeling and waitressing, to support her family. After her divorce, Naomi reverted to her maiden name, Judd, and took the opportunity to change her first name from Diana. Feeling that Diana did not align with her spiritual, rural Kentucky conception of her true heritage, she chose to honor the biblical figure Naomi instead. California eventually stopped feeling like home, and after an altercation with an ex-boyfriend was the final push Naomi needed. She packed up her kids and returned to Kentucky, settling in the small town of Morrill with just one main road and 50 residents. They lived simply, without television or a phone line. As daughter Winona later recalled, if we didn't make it, or grow it, we didn't have it. To pass the time, Naomi and her eldest daughter would sing together in the evenings, marking the start of their successful singing career. Returning to Kentucky allowed Naomi to attend nursing school in Berea and later move with her daughters to Tennessee. She worked as an ICU nurse for several years while promoting her singing duo. Despite facing sexual harassment and dismissal, Naomi persevered, submitting a $30 cassette tape to Nashville music producers. In 1983, through work she met the daughter of record producer Brent Ma, who arranged an audition with RCA Records. The executives were so impressed that they signed the Judds immediately on the spot. The Judds had a unique on-stage chemistry, driven by their contrasting personalities. Winona, with her unforgettable voice and musical talent, was shy and reserved on stage. Naomi, on the other hand, provided rich harmonies, enhancing her daughter's soulful melodies without overshadowing her. Naomi's show-stopping antics, heartfelt storytelling, and folksy charm made each performance captivating and entertaining. Their divergent strengths complemented each other beautifully, winning over fans and keeping audiences glued to their shows. Throughout the 80s, the Judds achieved remarkable success with 20 top 10 country hits and 6 album releases, Why Not Me, 1984, Rocking With The Rhythm, 1985, Heartland, 1987, Christmas Time with the Judds, 1987, River of Time, 1989, and Love Can Build a Bridge, 1990. They were regular fixtures at annual country music awards shows, winning five Grammy Awards. Naomi also won a Grammy for Country Song of the Year for writing, Love Can Build a Bridge. The duo enjoyed moderate mainstream and international success. On May 6, 1989, Naomi married Larry Strickland of the Palmetto State Quartet and a former backup singer for Elvis. The wedding took place at Nashville's Christ Church, with both daughters serving as bridesmaids. Winona and Don Potter, a member of the Judd's band, officiated the ceremony. This marriage marked Naomi's second venture into domestic life, and the couple remained together for three decades. Tragically, Naomi would pass away just months before their 33rd anniversary. In 1991, Naomi's career with the Judds was cut short when she was diagnosed with hepatitis C from an infected needle while working as a nurse. Given just three years to live by the Mayo Clinic, the Judds held a record-breaking farewell concert. 
Naomi later established the Naomi Judd Education and Research Fund and became a spokesperson for the American Liver Foundation, earning the Golden Plate Award in 1993. In 1998, Naomi was declared hepatitis C free after a successful treatment with interferon alpha, a medical breakthrough. The Judds reunited for a New Year's Eve concert in Phoenix in 1999, with Ashley hosting, followed by the Power to Change tour in 2000. The Phoenix concert was released as the Judds Reunion Live, and in 2001, the duo was nominated for the Academy of Country Music's Top Vocal Duo of the Year. In 2003, Naomi launched her cosmetic line, Esteem Skincare, which generated $9 million in sales by 2004. From 2003 to 2004, she served as a judge on Star Search with Arsenio Hall and later hosted Naomi's New Morning on the Hallmark Channel from 2005 to 2007. Naomi authored several self-help books, including Naomi's Guide to Aging Gratefully in 2007, and three children's books. In 2008, she judged and mentored on Can You Duet on CMT, and in 2017, competed with her husband Larry Strickland on My Kitchen Rules. In 2021, Naomi was inducted into the Women's Songwriters Hall of Fame. Naomi began her acting career with a role in the 1979 comedy, More American Graffiti. She executive produced the 1995 TV movie, Naomi and Winona, Love Can Build a Bridge, based on her book. Naomi appeared in TV series such as Sisters, The Client, Third Rock from the Sun, and Touched by an Angel. In 1993, she starred opposite Kenny Rogers in the TV western Rio Diablo. She continued acting with roles in A Holiday Romance and Family Tree both 1999 and a cameo in Someone Like You in 2001, featuring her daughter Ashley. Naomi later starred in The Killing Game in 2011 with Laura Prepon, Nearlyweds and Window Wonderland in 2013 for Hallmark Channel and An Evergreen Christmas in 2014 on Netflix. In 2021, she played the grandmother in the Lifetime adaptation of V.C. Andrews' novel Ruby. On April 30, 2022, Naomi Judd passed away at her home in Leapers Fork, Tennessee, from a self-inflicted gunshot wound, just one day before she and daughter Winona were set to be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Naomi, 76, had long been battling depression, anxiety and extreme panic attacks for many years, noting fans were unaware of this darker side of her life as they only saw her in rhinestones and glitter, projecting a glamorous image. The side effects from her medications, such as lithium, including facial swelling, hair loss, and tremors, adding to her emotional strain. Announcing her death, her daughters tweeted, Today we sisters experienced a tragedy. We lost our beautiful mother to the disease of mental illness. Ashley Judd later revealed the cause in a May 12, 2022 interview with Diane Sawyer on Good Morning America aiming to raise awareness of mental illness and ensure the news was shared directly by the family. And there you have it. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the life and legacy of Naomi Judd. Her music and courage continue to inspire us all. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more stories just like this. Take care and bye for now.